let's stay in the West and head to the Timberwolves because Anthony Edwards was back in action as well. He wasted no time, 24 points, 9 of 15 from the field in 23 minutes. The Timberwolves, remember, without Carl Anthony Towns, no Rudy Gobert, no D'Angelo Russell. They beat the Bulls. But is Edwards the best player on this team? Didn't he say that last year? Didn't he say, like, I'm trying to yes. be the best player and it yes, ruffled some feathers because people were like, hey, Carl Anthony Towns is mm. there. He's a guy that can shoot it from, you know, from th deep and then also at the... I think this mindset helps. Yeah. This mindset helps them because they're trying to be not just a playoff team, but a real contender in the West. Some people even say yep. he could, this team can come out of the West. Mm. And so if he's their best player, I feel like that helps their case. When you look at the West, you're looking at the Clippers, obviously, as a team that's up there. You're looking at the Warriors, potentially the Suns, potentially Nuggets, Dallas, Mavs, Nuggets, the da, 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 da. For you, what is the step you're looking to see Anthony Edwards take this year to help them reach that upper echelon? You know, I think it's about maturity in the sense that on the game, you know, when he's out on the court, he wants to be able to be himself, get 20 mm -hmm. points. But more so the maturity from the guard standpoint is how do I make my team better? Yeah. Like, it, how do you get into a pick and roll situation with Rudy Gobert where Rudy feels like he's a viable source in the offense? I know it's, what is it, year two, year three, year three for him? Mm -hmm. um, that's the next level that you take maybe at year five that you're going to look if I can be a playmaker and I can produce 20 points a game and I can play defense and be a dog on the perimeter, have someone someone has my back and anchor, you look at this as a holistic team that can really make some noise. Well, here, here's my question, though. I mentioned all the players that didn't play. Carl Anthony Towns not playing because he was getting over a non-COVID illness, amongst other things. Rudy Gobert is such a big piece of what this team is trying to do. How many preseason games do they need, if any at all, to gel? Not much. Yeah. Not much. Right. Uh, you know, I think the big evolution for Rudy is I know a lot of people are criti critical of his offense, but at some point, like, when you're the best at what you do, that's good enough for a team that already has a lot of offense. And so Rudy Gobert... For him to be out there, you know it's going to be simple. Rim protect, be the captain of that defense, but then offensively try to provide more, right, besides just lobs and finishes and pick and roll scenarios. Maybe you look at yourself as a Steven Adams. Let me set the best screens, which he does extremely well, but everyone knows Steven Adams is such a key facilitator for the Grizzlies. You sort of want to be synonymous with that for your team in that offense. So it's that maturity on the outside for the guards to realize it might take some ugly growth patterns to figure this out early on in the season, but it will be beneficial in the long term for both both of us if we both get something going. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.